Oh, welcome back uh, this is to another exciting episode of Excel VBA is fun. Today I want to talk to you real briefly about this thing called the immediate window. Uh, what is the immediate window you may be asking? Well, it's, uh, it's pretty cool. It's a useful tool when you are debugging something and you want to find out what's the immediate status of something or you may want to change something in the middle of code running without hard coding it into your actual macro. Uh, you may just want to see you know, what would happen if x is equal to 50 instead of what it currently is. So you can find that out. You can also uh, find out what this, like I said, what the status of something is. So we'll go ahead and erase our macro we've been working on. And I'm going to go ahead and put a little stopper right here which can also be done by one of these, the hand button toggle breakpoint. Looks like F9 is the shortcut for that. I did not know that. So anyway, we'll put a stopper here. I'm going to go ahead and run this code by hitting F5. So we can see that we it stopped here and it's waiting on me. Um, what's changing here? I'll tell you, X is changing. The value of cells X comma 2 is changing every time. Um, so let's go to the immediate window. Whoop. The immediate window is, uh, if you don't have it currently, is can be accessed by clicking um, Control G. I'm not sure which one of these is going to get you there. It might be under here. Yeah, it is Control G. Immediate window. That'll toggle that. So uh, Control G. The immediate window. What I want to find right now, I'm going to um, the the process of finding out what something is. You type debug.print. So I'm gonna. It's already gonna fill that in if I hit tab. Debug.print space. What do we want to find out? We want to find out what the value of x currently is right now. We know that it's going from two to ten, but where are we at right now? Oh, I could hover my mouse over here and see that it's two, but let's just for fun, let's see what is x. And when I hit enter, it tells me that the value is currently 2. So let's erase that. I'm going to come back here and hit F5 a couple times. And just real quick, I'll click here and hit enter again. What's X currently? Currently X is 7. Well, what about this? I want to debug.print. I want to find out what the value of cells X, comma, uh, 2 is. So if I hit enter, it'll say... The value of x comma 2 is 105, and sure enough, uh, row 7, which is x comma 1, 2, is 105. So that's pretty darn accurate. So that's your immediate window. Also, um, since we've established that x is one of our variables we want to work with, here's something cool I can do. I can say x equals 15 and hit enter. And guess what? When I hover over X, it's equal to 15 right now. You know what else I could do in the immediate window? I could even affect the worksheet object, uh, the cells in the worksheet. I could say that I want cells X comma two to be the word pizza. I know we've used that before, but why not? If I hit enter, okay, as I've hit enter, uh, X comma 15, where well, that would be. Uh, excuse me, x comma 2, which is uh, row fi uh, 15 comma 2 is now pizza. And if I change this to x comma 3 equals pizza and I hit enter, it would put it in x comma 3, column 3. So, that's how you use the immediate one. You can af affect your variables. You can affect things on the sheet. You can affect whatever is going on here using the immediate window. Tune in next time to another exciting XLVBA is fun adventure. And my name is Daniel, and I sure thank you for watching.